Imagine, if you will, a country so ashamed of its history, they punish the people who teach the truth about history. And this is thoughts while I'm thinking, and these opinions are mine. And what is history? History is a difference between myths and, uh, and narratives, and it's uh, based on the facts of the matter at the time, and nothing added and nothing taken away from the best documents that you can come across. And that is what the, the history is. And we got to teach the good and the bad of history. We got to teach it all and we got to get it right. We got to teach the accurate history. And we got to look at the history of the war between the states. And, uh, and it was based on the uh, states' rights. And the Tenth Amendment of the Constitution gave the states all the power that wasn't just specified in the Constitution to go to the federal government. And that's where the war on history starts. And uh, it started back when the North was imposing the tariffs and the taxes on uh, the South. And the tax in the South said uh, uh, they uh, wasn't going to tolerate that and they could succeed from the Union. And uh, the North said, no, you can't. It's against the law. And the South says, well, the 10th Amendment says we can. And uh, so uh, that was a separation of the southern states from the northern states and the st civil uh, and states' rights. And the Tenth Amendment that gave of the states' rights. Well, uh, what happened was is when the South got adamant about it and uh, got belligerent and stuff and started uh, pulling away from the Union, uh, uh, Abraham Lincoln declared war on the states, and the paper said that they, a Lincoln president uh, at Washington City has declared war against the Southern Confederacy. He attempted to reinforce Fort Sumner in South Carolina, and on the 12th, he insisted that it be bombed and uh, was taken back by the South, and uh, which time Lincoln issued a proclamation for five 75,000 troops to subjugate the uh, Confederacy and demanded from the states uh, their representatives and uh, said the number of troops thus inaugurating a uh, holy war and unjust war against the independent sovereign states. And that is about the war. That is a, a no mention of slaves in that. And we got to look at it and go forward and we got to understand that what is happening uh, is that when they passed the 14th Amendment, they got the power to the Washington like they wanted uh, and fought for in a war. And uh, we uh, got to get back to uh, thinking about the nullifications and the tariffs and all that stuff that drove the South away from the North. And we got to look at it. We got to look at the state's rights and how come they passed the uh, 14th Amendment with the Commerce Clause. The Commerce Clause is the most powerful clause of impact on business in the Constitution. And it takes away the power from the states and gives it to the federal government. And so that was the way we were a nation divided. And uh, our forefathers in Washington uh, uh, on the 10th Amendment and the Bill of Rights had it right. And we got to teach the history as the way it was. And uh, we hope you have a nice day. And it's adios, amigos. And we'll see you on the flip side.